to schedule or delay an email in Microsoft Outlook is really quite simple. What we wanna do is we're in Outlook here and I'm simply gonna select on a brand new email. And then once you've filled out your email, I'm not gonna bother filling this one out. Uh, in the messages tab, you'll see about halfway through, there is an option of tags. It says follow up, high importance, low importance. And then just above my cursor, there's a little arrow pointing downwards, which is essentially saying more options. If we open up this guy, a dialog box is gonna open up and it has a lot of properties for that email. What you'll see here is that you have a option down the bottom called delivery options. So you can choose to have the replies sent to and choose some people to always get the replies sent to. But what we wanna do for today is select on the option of do not deliver before. So if we select do not deliver, deliver before, we can choose to um, create the email today, but we're gonna say do not deliver before Monday the 2nd, for example, at 8.30 a.m. So we're essentially gonna send this email now once we've drafted it and it's ready to be sent, but it won't actually be delivered until the time that we've selected here. Then once you're done with that, simply select on close. Let's go ahead and build this email out very quickly. We've just quickly built that email. If I open up that tag again, you see it still has the option of do not deliver, deliver before and that certain date. And then all I'm gonna do is simply select on send. Now, if we look at our Outlook, you'll see here that we have our inbox and everything. And down the bottom, it says Outbox, and it has one next to it. If we open this up, we can actually see that we have that email here. So we can, of course, right click on it and choose to delete it. Or we can double click to open and edit it. Um, and if you wanted to, we're gonna open that tag one more time. You see it still has the option of do not deliver before. If you wanna change this, you can definitely go ahead and change the details or you can untick that and hit the send button. But if you're happy with the way it is sent, uh, essentially, essentially you can close out of this and it will be delivered on uh, the day that you've told it to send. Now, what if you wanted to have a delay on all of the emails that you have? Well, again, we're gonna select on our inbox and instead of starting a brand new email, we're gonna open up rules. In rules, we're gonna select on manage rules and alerts. Another dialog box is gonna pop up. You can see here, I already have a few rules and alerts uh, set, but I'm gonna select on new rule. This is gonna pop up and down the bottom, it's gonna say start a blank rule from, and I'm gonna choose the last option of apply rule on messages that I send. And then I'm simply gonna select on next. You can choose some conditions here, but if you want this just to be a blanket rule that applies to everything you send, again, select next one more time. Outlook does give you a warning that this rule will apply to every message that you send. Is this correct? Well, yes, we wanna put a, a time delay on all of our emails. So we're gonna select on yes. And then down the bottom here, you have all these different options, but the second option from the bottom is defer delivery by a number of minutes. We're gonna select on this guy. And then if you wanna choose that, uh, that delay that you put, we're gonna select on a number of, because that is highlighted, that is an option we can choose. By default, it is set to one minute. But if we change this and put it to five minutes, for example, maybe you wanna delay just so you can always double check before things get sent out. We're simply gonna select on okay. And then we're gonna go next, if there's any exceptions that you wanna set. Uh, but again, we want a really simple rule of, hey, every email that we send has at least a five minute delay. So we're gonna select next one more time. Um, you can specify the name of this rule. So I'll just call it five minute delay. And then you could choose to run this on all your messages, but you don't have to. Um, you can choose to run this rule now on all your messages, but really this is a future rule. Um, and we're just gonna have the option of turn on this rule and then simply select on finish. And then you get a message from him. Um, and then you get this dialog box is gonna pop up saying, this rule will only run when you check your email in Outlook. If Outlook isn't running, it's not gonna run, but that's okay, because once you hit send, this rule is just gonna work and you have that five minute delay anyway. So we're gonna select on okay, and then your rule is here, it's created. Um, so you can see here it says five minute delay and you're good to go. And there you have it. That is how you can schedule or delay an email in Microsoft Outlook. You can choose to do this on a specific email that you're working on, or you could have a delay on every single email that you send. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you're gonna supercharge raise your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.